Arsenal fan TV. Should I mention Tottenham? I can't believe I can't believe that Tottenham threw it away, but what do you what did you make it again? Thank you. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, Robbie, we ended our season today in exactly the same way as we ended last season. Uh, our best ever opportunity of winning the Premier League since the Invincibles in 2014 with victory over a very poor Aston Villa team. Only the difference today was there was no silverware at Wembley at stake. And uh, let's face it, uh, although we've uh, ended the season 11 games unbeaten uh, and we've now following the capitulation of Tottenham for Hotspur got bragging rights. I don't think this should uh, in any way sugarcoat what's been going on at the, the club this season. And in a season where Meza Ozil has created a premiership record of creating most chances in the Premier League, the sad fact is that our season effectively ended between, uh, in normal fashion between February the 23rd and March the 20th this season. In eight games, we lost five, went out of two cup competitions to Barcelona and to Watford and we lost back-to-back -back Premier League games against Man United and Swansea. I think it's great that we finish it with Tottenham Hotspur and uh, but I think let's not let's put it in perspective we've missed a wonderful opportunity this year of winning the Premier League. What would you what, what would you do um, next year so that we can go that step further I mean you know be in first place? Well I was, <laughs> I, I was straight into the first interview today Robbie. Um, <laughs> Well, let's, well, I was thinking today, Arsene Wenger today played his 1,120th match. I honestly believe there's a good argument this should have been his last game. Uh, this season, he's, uh, the, the fact is that there's four mistakes he's made this year. He's failed to build on back-to-back -back FA Cup wins and deliver the Premiership title. And no manager of a top four side in Europe has stayed in a job for as long as he has and not delivered that. He's tactically struggled at the Emirates this year and also... Um, for criticising the fans this season, I think that's a sackable offence alone. The, the players, the, sorry, the fans pay the highest. Um, well, he's going to be here, so what should he do next season? Look, it's Quickly. clear. It's clear to me what I think he should do. We have got one of the most creative players in the Premiership, in Meza Ozil. Now we are wasting Meza Ozil's talent by not having runners running on behind. We need a, a top quality striker with pace and finishing ability to run on beyond, beyond making most of the chances that Meza Ozil creates. And that has been the problem this year. Oliver Giroud, Olivier Giroud scored three goals today, but um, I think there are strikers out there that we need next season. And whether he's going to be able to go out and get them is another matter. Okay. I would say there are four. There's two unrealistic and two realistic. Yeah. Now, to me, uh, a bang yang of Dortmund is ideal for Arsenal, but he's not going to come. He said he already said he's going to Spain. Now, I think the more realistic is you need to follow what's happening at Liverpool with Sturridge. Sturridge is injury prone, but he is a finisher and he's got pace. And I also feel that Lacazette at Lyon has scored goals in an average side. Now, me personally, um, I, I would do something that Wenger won't be prepared to do. Wenger only believes in uh, long-term signings and not short-term signings. Now, I, I think uh, that um, at PSG, he's out of contract now. He's still he's, he's 34, I know, but Ibrahimovic... Uh, record speaks for itself. He's everything our team is not. He's uh, a leader, a winner. He's uh, won 12 league titles in 15 seasons at various clubs. He scored 150 odd goals in 179 games for PSG and he set a record this year, 38 goals for PSG in the French League and he also destroyed Chelsea in the Champions League. I think the one thing Wenger's got to do is he enter into his last year of his contract is go out and buy a quality striker and add one other thing Robbie. I think he's got to, what I would like to see also is I would like to see Sanchez play permanently on the right. Yeah, I think yeah. he needs a left-sided attacking player. Now there's a guy at Napoli, uh, Insigne, who's in the Italian yeah, side, who scores goals. Insigne. Uh, now he's a very talented player. Now if we can get him on the left wing, Sanchez on the right and a quality striker put in, taking advantage of the, the 140 chances that Ozil cr creates every season, I think we have a great chance of winning the Premier League next season. For all the best coverage of this year's Euros, get along to my brand new channel and subscribe right now. Subscribe to Man Like Robbie.